Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. We hope you enjoy our channel and if possible could you please join our Patreon page. We really need your help. It's been a long hard road. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. My name is Dan and I'm in the Philippines on the island of Bohol driving to town getting close I'm on a back road there's a couple other back roads here that are pretty nice too that'll they're actually kind of a little bit longer they kind of take you around but there's usually zero traffic on them so you can usually make pretty good time and it's actually more relaxing and I just I get so tired of following these tricycles and stuff that are doing you know 15 miles an hour on roads and slowing you all the way down you usually can't pass because there's always somebody coming in fact the road they're turning on right, on right there that's a good road there that sucks down around by where my daughter used to go to high school and then there's a road from there that goes all the way to the the cathedral basically which is right in the edge of downtown and it's just a nice little loop out of the way it's not faster just more relaxing it's something different to do I haven't, I haven't been on there since she got out of school Shannon's in college now sounds like she's doing real well high marks of course it's very very smart I always consider myself to be pretty smart, but she's like in another world compared to me. I don't know how she does it. I graduated high school in 1979. Graduate, actually graduated in 1978, but my class was a class of 79. So I'm considered by all my all the people in the class of 79 as still being in the class, of course. I know almost everybody. Nice lady in the class was always our president. Her name was Jean Ann Kemp. She was such a nice girl. One of the cheerleaders and all that stuff. They were in another another world than I was in. I was, I was just kind of a, beyond a regular guy. But uh, she was always nice. And I got contacted about, it must have been seven, eight years ago, someone sent me a message about a class reunion or something. So I signed up for the, the class Facebook page, whatever you call it, and uh, got in contact with her several times. And uh, just, it's so nice to talk to. Funny thing is, I, I, of course, I couldn't go to any of the reunions because I've been here in the Philippines, but um, they put up, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of pictures of the reunions and stuff. And it just cracks me up how I, I can't recognize anybody in the pictures. Maybe four out of four out of 50 people I can recognize. Her I recognize. She looks exactly like she did in high school. A little older, but other than that, she looks fantastic. And a couple guys that I knew, I recognized those guys, but most of the people, they have little captions, you know, and the pictures saying, so-and-so, and so-and-so, and so-and-so, and so-and-so are on, you know, in this picture. And people that I knew, they weren't good friends of mine, but I knew them, you know, associates in school, and they just look totally different. I look the same as I did in high school. My face hasn't changed hardly at all. Starting to look more like my dad the older I get. Other than that, I still have the general look that I had in high school.
I'd be hard pressed to find anybody that knew me not to recognize me today. Uh, it's getting a little crowded or now. Trucks parked on the side of the road where they shouldn't be. Supposed to be no parking on a national highway. Zero. Look at all these vehicles though. Need to get a few supplies today, real minor things. But I thought I'd come in and get a loaf of bread. I got a pair of sandals that I need to get uh, resold, kind of. I got a, I found a pair of kind of flip-flops that didn't fit me. The soles are just like brand new, pretty new. And I got a pair of the same brand of uh, their sandals, but the shape of the sole and everything's the same. I'm gonna see if this guy up here can glue them and sew them on for me. I'll get a little wear out of those. I got a pair of rainbow slippers on right now, flip-flops. Best flip-flops you ever find in the world, guys. Made in San Clemente, California. Uh, this is my fourth pair now, fourth or fifth pair, and they've been absolutely fantastic. They last a long time, they fit great. I'll have to order myself another pair of them. These were six, this, this pair here was $65, I think. They're double thick soles on them. Very, very nice, though. Very, very nice. All right, well, I'm downtown, guys. I'm going to see if the mall has any any parking, which is usually rare at this time of the day. It's 2.43. But there's a spot down at the end that I park by a water tanker that I usually can get in. There's the guard. He doesn't care. Look right here's a spot right here. Very unusual. But I'll take it. All right, take care, everybody. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Take care.